try, to try to find what works for us. This, this solution usually doesn't contain anything we don't like or things we find difficult. Webster defines the word only as no more than, merely, or just. Webster also defines the word way as manner, mode, or fashion. So these two words together literally translate to no more than one mode, manner, or in one fashion. Okay, okay, okay. As we run this Christian race, we want to know that our only way is Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. We often hear the older generation sing songs, Jesus is the answer. And we look at them, we look at them, we like, oh, okay, yeah, Jesus is the answer. We know, we know. Right. But what we fail to realize is that the saints of old who sang that song had to learn for themselves yes, that yes, Jesus yes, truly yes, yes, is the answer. Right. Right. Amen? Yes. The things they did on their own accord as younger people, but in their now seasoned age, they have learned that he truly is the only way. The Bible is often remembered by the simple acronym, basic instructions before leaving earth. But we know from our statement of faith that's recited every Sunday that the Bible is the inspired and only of God. Yes, 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 yes. Is there any closing statement in the house? Yes. I know that I'm the statement of faith. Come on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Knowing this and knowing that God's word is true and cannot return unto him void, we see that there are scriptural references to back up Jesus being the only way to everything in this life and to eternal life which we strive to gain every day. Yes. The things we need, Jesus holds the key to. The Bible says in Matthew 7 and 7, Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. We were also taught that when you pray, you ought to pray in the name of Jesus. Right. Jesus told us in John 14 and 13, and whatever, whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, I will do that, and that the Father will do that. Believing that whatever you're praying for, God is going to do just that. Because in Matthew 22, 21 and 22, God backs up his word and says, For all things whatsoever you ask in your name, believing, ye shall receive. Now, carrying all three of those scriptures together, we see that Jesus is the only way to get the things that we need. Amen? We have to ask in his name for the things that we need, believing that his word is. Because he said it is his good pleasure to give us the desire of our heart. Now let's stop for a minute because I see people standing up getting excited. Let's deal with one little thing before we get any further. Just because you ask for something, believing God to do it doesn't mean he will. That's right. God, ooh, ooh, but his word said, but his word said, but guess what? Just because you ask, don't mean he's going to do it. We as the people of God need to quit all this, ooh, name and claim it, let me touch it, it's mine. Ooh, God said, I, I'm going to touch this BMW, and it's mine. Ooh, God said, let me touch this house, and it's mine. It's foolish. Because guess what? I'm going to step on some toes, but the Bible says the truth shall make you free, correct? So we're going to give us some truth tonight. Amen? Just because you ask God for $1.5 million, $1.5 million, doesn't mean he's going to give it to you if he can't follow God's principles, right. such as those listed in Malachi 8 and 3 concerning time. Oh.
died on the cross for the sin of the entire world and bore all of our issues on that cross just for us ungrateful people to reject him and continue to live a life of sin. Jesus says, you don't want to go to hell? Guess what? I'm the way to heaven. Just follow me. Jesus says, if you want to be happy, think on the things that I've done to you. If you're sick, remember, by his stripes, you're already healed. And I'm walking in the promise of healing because guess what? Diabetes wasn't, wasn't for me. Jesus died on the cross that I might live life and live it more abundantly. And abundant life does not require insulin. Abundant life does not require taking much to work. So guess what? I got to do it for now. But guess what? Healing is on the way because Jesus died for me.